Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here. You already heard the news. Google made the Nick collection for free and I just finished making a class on teaching you how to use it. Here's a quick little tutorial from my class. So I want to introduce you to one, another one of my very favorites. And this one we won't have to, we can do this right inside of Lightroom. Under the photo menu, we're going to go edit in, and we're going to go to Color Effects Pro, and we're going to look at some tonal contrast and detail extraction. These are two different filters. It seems like they're going to do the same thing, but they do it in a very different way. They have a very different look. And so that's something I want to point out to you just overall as we use this software is you're going to see things that go, well, I can do that in Photoshop or structure similar to Clarity and these. It's true, but there's different math here. And so it just looks different. I mean, a lot of these things, if you were really good at Photoshop, you could probably do a lot of them by hand. It would take a lot longer. You'd have to know how to do them. What I like about these is it doesn't take a lot of time. You can just kind of apply them. You can stack them. You can, it's just a much, much faster workflow. All right, let's take a look at right here, Detail Extractor. So the default looks pretty good. If you want more presets, click on it. And we'll go to, the, so that's default. Here's Strong Large Details. And then I've never ever used this one, Flat and Detailed. It just looks like bad HDR. And this one looks like, still looks like HDR, but not so bad. And Extreme Details, that's, these are all like, I just want it to look like HDR, just go right here. And it looks like you had a really bad HDR day. Let's go with strong, large details. I wanna show you what a difference, if you go, well, is that really making a difference? Let's hit the compare button, watch. Before and after, before and after. But to really appreciate it, click the split screen and watch. You're bringing in the shine on the car and you're bringing in the grunge as well, so watch. Watch the paint. And look at the detail coming out as you drag this. Now you're just seeing this is the after image, right? But look at the, look at the car. Look at the ground. Now, what I would more likely do with something like this is if it seems like it's a little bit too much, of course, you can lower the, the detail extractor amount up at the top. These things are all fairly self-explanatory. If you look at a detail extractor, yeah, it looks like the amount. Contrast is contrast. Saturation is saturation. So you don't, you know, you don't have to be a genius to figure these out. Uh, the effect radius, watch the difference as you choose. Here's fine, here's normal. Give it a second to draw. And here's large. They look different. Which one do you choose? The one that looks best to you. All right? And you can just kind of go through here and look at the difference. That's pretty amazing. I think. And then you can, let's get out of this preview mode. And of course, you've got control points. You can add or take away. You can use a control point to take stuff away. And look at that. Look how that door returned to normal just by using the minus. If you look over here, there's add stuff. And this one is the same control point, but set to zero opacity. So this allows you to go, you know what? That area is just too grungy. I don't want that. And then we can hold the option key on Mac or the alt key on Windows, of course to take another one and drop it over here. Okay, if you like that, you gotta watch the whole class. Go to kelby1.com, sign in and watch the class. And if you're not a Kelby One member, go take the 10 day free trial and watch it right now anyway.